Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Empires and Puzzles video. In this video, we're taking a look at the new Guardian Gazelle. Before we get to this video, if you haven't checked out Gemstone Legends yet, come check it out. There are no joke thousands of players from Empires and Puzzles that have come over already, and for good reason. Simply put, it's a really fun game with some big advantages over Empires and Puzzles. We both know that the players that join these games earliest are some of the most dominant players. And this game is starting to really take off, so the longer you wait, the more you miss out on. Not only can you support the channel by using the download link in the description of this video, or by scanning the QR code on your screen, but doing so will also give you a free $50 starter bonus with an epic hero, gems, and gold coins, all for free just by using the link or QR code provided. And then when you start, you'll gain access to beginner events exclusively for players who use the link or QR code provided that will give you another strong epic hero, a set of five star legendary equipment, and a platinum scroll for another guaranteed epic or legendary hero. Lastly, I have created a bunch of videos in a Gemstone Legends playlist on my YouTube channel to make learning this game as easy and fun as possible. So hit that download link in the description and get started with one of the most fun and deep match three RPGs. There's a great community in Gemstone Legends. It has some huge advantages over Empires and Puzzles. And overall, I think you guys are really gonna like it. All right, so there was a version of her that entered beta that was far stronger than what they actually ended up releasing. Probably for the better, though it's hard to understand why they let some heroes remain ridiculously strong and others they decide that is intolerable. Um, so yeah, here is a an event hero with the full family bonus. However, the old heroes of the month like Perseus still don't have this, which is a bit ridiculous. Um, so let's take a look. Removes all status effects on everyone except the caster, even undispellable, so no difference. Upfront heal to everyone. Uh, well, it says recovers 48% health for all allies. So I'm curious if that includes her. I would think yes, but the way it's worded makes it sound like the heal is only for her allies, not for herself. Um, but we'll find out. Uh, four turns... 110% attack, it was 150 in beta, and it's 100 on the normal one. So 110, slight boost, not very much. Reduces received damage by 30. I think uh, it was 40 before, and the non-costume is 50. So I would tend to think that the non-costume version is better, uh, because 50% damage reduction is pretty nice. Um, gives immunity to new status effects... Uh, if the caster dies, Dancer receives 110 damage, and their mana is reduced by 100%. So I think they used to receive a percentage of damage, not just 110 as a fixed value. Um, so maybe that is slightly better as well. Can't be dispelled, but gets removed if the caster dies. The biggest thing, they made her a fighter class. And I have heard that if um, this effect is active and she dies but revives, it does not remove mana or, um, doesn't remove mana and it doesn't deal any damage. So even though she's technically dying, they're counting it as not actually dying in the way the special skill works. Um, so let's just take a look real quick at if the health is for everyone or not. And yes, yeah, so we can get her to revive. Also, the way it's worded makes it seems like it Makes it seem like it would not block stacks. Uh, grants immunity to new status effects, but it doesn't say status effects and stacks. Um, I don't believe I can give any stacks with heroes that I have, so I'll let someone add that in the comments below if they happen to know what happens in that situation. Alrighty. It's funny that when these new heroes come out, people just put them on defense. 
you know, kind of like a show off thing, I guess. I, I can't speak for everyone on why that happens, but it's funny because when she was new, a lot of people were putting her on defense in that spot. And I think that was uh, more justified because she was newer at the time. People weren't quite sure how to deal with her, but that has since uh, changed and people do know how to deal with her now. So it's just funny to that people do these non-meta things just to kind of show off a little bit. All right, so we're going to take the chance at a combo. Getting a really bad board here, and she's about to start doing her thing. Oof, Milena's going to hit real hard. Uh, yikes. Hmm. Maybe it can be avoided. Oh, super lucky. All right. Let's see if we can get some mana here. They gave a new little dancing thing. I wasn't paying attention to see if Gazelle got health, so you'll have to take a look back and let me know. Um, Milena. So yeah, that's the problem, is we can't do anything to Milena. So the damage is coming through no matter what, which means that um, Octoros is going to hit everybody no matter what. So even though we have Taunt, we're in a bit of a rough situation still because... There it goes. Ooh. All right, no revive. And they took 147 damage, so even though it said 110, maybe it is supposed to mean percentage, like a, a slash attack kind of thing. Um, do we need to show anything else? We don't need to show the revive, because like I said, um, that has been confirmed. It's possible. It's a bug. You know, like, I make these videos, and the information only lasts so long because they have a habit of screwing things up and then changing them. So um, check out the comments and uh, see what people are saying if you're watching this video later. And if you know any of this information, please do include that in the comments. So, um... Yeah, it's hard to show exactly what 30% versus 50% damage negation looks like, though 50 is better, and I don't think the 20% difference is worth the 10% trade-off. Um, it is nice that she heals immediately because you want to keep her uh, healthy to avoid damaging your team. However... Um, yeah, however she does have the fighter class thing. I guess I would use the costume version um, because you have the chance for the fighter class and you're healing everybody. So Gazelle used to only heal herself. Now she heals everybody, uh, which is quite nice. And maybe that is enough to make up for the 20% difference in damage negation. So there's your look at the new costume version of Gazelle. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, this is a hero that I did make an attempt to get, and instead I got three copies of the Hippo, who is pretty awesome. Three, I think, is too many. Um, but yeah, that's what happened, and I'm not in a position of wanting to even try to chase after something, so not going to happen for me. Long-time user of the standard version, and it'll just have to stay that way. Um, yeah, share your thoughts in the comments down below. Please hit that like button and subscribe to show your support for the channel. I really appreciate it, and it really does help out. So, uh, I make videos for you guys, and you help me out by doing that stuff, I guess. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.